everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2015 TV miniseries, The Enfield Haunting. This was directed by Christopher Nyholm and it stars Timothy Spall, Eleanor Worthington Cox, Juliet Stevenson, Fern Deacon, Rose Calivaro, and Matthew McFadden. Now, this three part uh, miniseries tells the story, the true story, of one of the most famous hauntings of all time that happened in London in the UK in 1977. Uh, more, more famously portrayed in the film The Conjuring 2. If you remember that film, uh, that was set, um, that, that portrayed the events in this film for the most part, even though they Hollywoodized it and pried in the nun into that film. Um, and other bits and pieces um, and um, their involvement in that case as portrayed in The Conjuring was far less than reality um, but what we do get here is like um, a retelling of the events that happened in um, this place in Enfield in 1977 um, where this family um, is terrorised by a poltergeist uh, and it focus, focuses most of its attention on the teenage daughter Janet, Janet Hodgson um, and after it gained some uh, infamy by getting in the press and things like that Timothy Spall's character Morris Gross turns up um, and brings on board Matthew McFadden's character Guy Playfair who went on to write a book which this series is based on, this miniseries is based on. Um, and they, as experts, try and figure out what's going on, trying to keep the family safe and trying to work out how to move on this um, uh, deeply uh, violent spirit. Right. Um, what are my thoughts on the Enfield Haunting? Well, I've just fairly recently picked this up. Um, I'll be showing it off in my most recent collection update at the end of this month um, I remember watching this when it first came out in 2015 in the UK um, I think it was on Sky TV even though I don't remember having Sky TV in 2015 so I probably saw it um, in some other place um, I can't just remember where but I certainly remember watching it on TV I think it was on normal terrestrial TV um, and absolutely loved it I mean it was just really really an effective miniseries that was genuinely um, frightening but littered with some of the most incredible acting performances um, I mean really fantastic Timothy Spall is on another level here I mean he's an incredible actor is Timothy Spall he really is a fantastic actor anyway and to UK based uh, TV fans and we, we he's been on our screens for decades he's incredible in this film I mean um, I don't think he's ever been better really fantastic stuff as is Juliet Stevenson who plays his wife better who have both been through real tragedy as they lost their daughter about 12 months previously who was also called Janet um, so he has a real connection to this young girl Janet in this house um, and he's trying to lay to rest the ghost of his past in regards to his daughter passing and things like that. And him and Juliet Stevenson portray this really, really fantastically well. Now, I don't pretend to be an expert on this story. I don't know the real facts and all the details. Only what I've seen on like documentaries over the years, TV programs over the years, and things like The Conjuring and this. Um, I'm sure there are people out there that are far more knowledgeable of all the events that took place. And I'm sure they took quite a few liberties with this series. Um, you know, it's it's supposed to be entertainment value as well as a portrayal of the facts. Um, and I don't really have a problem with that. It felt um, grounded in parts. I mean, it really felt of its time in the 70s, you know. Um, it, it, um, it felt very, very genuine. It felt very immersive in that time and all that kind of stuff um, and I think it it delivered on all levels um, but going back to the performances as well Matthew McFadden um, who plays Guy Play, uh, Playfair was initially he felt like he was going to be the bad guy he turned up and he, he wanted to disprove everything he didn't believe a word of it generally speaking 
Um, but he soon gets on board in, uh, in ways that even he can't deny, you know, that things are happening. Um, and I thought him and Timothy Spall together had great chemistry. Um, and they worked really, really well together on screen. Um, for me, though, the standout performer here was Eleanor Worthington Cox. Uh, in regards to being a child actress, certainly. Wow, what a performance by her. Big future ahead of her. Definitely. I've I've seen her in a couple of things. Um, I know she was in Action Point, the Johnny Knoxville film, which I know is not probably going to be a high point in her CV, but um, still, I do think she's a tremendous actress and she's got a real bright future ahead of her um, and a real, real powerful performance by her. So, I mean, on the top of all that, I mean, it's genuinely frightening as well, this film. There are many moments in this film where you know, you it will give you a shock and a surprise um, and a moment, you know, to shake you up. And I felt the first two episodes delivered everything that you wanted them. And it felt, it felt like the first two episodes were probably the most factual. And then the third episode, I suspect, is where they took the most liberties. Um, it felt like it kind of went off the um, ranch a little bit in regards to its story. And then you kind of tried to crank up the horror and the tension a little bit and you know you had this little light floating around that kept landing on janet and burning her and things like that which i don't remember ever being the reports on things like that happening um so i i'm, I'm sure they took liberties and it felt like the third episode is where they took the most liberties however i also felt the third episode delivered the biggest emotional high as well where it brings you pretty much to tears by the end of it because it it really gives you a satisfying conclusion. Um, all the characters that you want their arcs to finish and to get some kind of conclusion to what's been going on with them, you get that satisfyingly so. Um, and genuinely, it chokes you up by the end. Um, so what I'm saying is, if if you like a good ghost story, if you like ghost stories and hauntings that have got elements of truth to them, if you like The Conjuring too. And you like that story? Check this film out. Uh, this mini series. Sorry, you won't be disappointed. It's high quality stuff. Really entertaining. Brilliant performances, and definitely gives you an odd scare or two as well. So a really score, a really high score from me. This one. I'm going to give this one a nine out of ten. I thought it was just absolutely top quality stuff. Uh, and British TV, when they do it and they do it right, they can deliver this sort of stuff. And I don't think sometimes, when when they do these sort of shows, I don't think there's there's many countries in the world can touch British TV when they when they deliver this kind of quality. Top notch stuff. Highly recommended by me. So yeah, that is my review for The Enfield Haunting. It's made me want to go and watch uh, The Conjuring 2 again, just to compare the two. Uh, I might well just go and do that, but thanks for watching everybody. Of course, I will be back with plenty more content on the channel very, very soon.